Hey guys, it's Kathleen with Thrifty Britches and I'm back with another What's Sold video. This What's Sold video is for the period of November 18th through the 30th. And please keep in mind that during this period, for eight days, my store was closed. So all things considered, sales were not so bad, considering that for eight days I had totally shut down shop for the week of Thanksgiving. Um, if you're new to my channel, I am a part-time reseller, full-time school counselor, and I share an eBay store with my sister, Karen, who's a full-time educator and a part-time reseller, and we make up thrifty britches. We troll yard sales and garage sales and thrift stores looking for undervalued merchandise that we can flip for a profit on eBay, Poshmark, Macari, and most recently, Etsy. <laughs> I'm going to jump right into it with my eBay sales. So um, the first item that sold was this lot of nine Sesame Street easy to read or starting to read or learning to read books. I think it's starting to read books. Um, we picked these up in a yard sale back in March and we only paid $2 for them and we flipped them for $18. So I've been picking up a lot of books this yard sale season um, and for the most part I have been successful with unloading them, especially if you can pick up a series of books. It's a total bolo in most cases. I would definitely suggest doing a quick comp search to make sure um, that you're not picking up 20 books from a series that's a total lemon. I have had a lot of luck flipping book series, even if it's not a complete series, and you can always ship them using media mail, so it's usually a lot cheaper. Um, even if the books end up being super heavy, it doesn't usually end up being cost prohibitive to ship them, if that makes sense. Um, and so the next item that I sold was also another book series. This is the Pole Dark book series. This is not something I'm familiar with, but at the exact same yard sale where we got the Sesame Street books, we got this series of books. Um, Karen and I were both at this yard sale together or at this church yard sale together. Um, and this was a set of 12 books. We paid a total of $5 for all 12 books and we flipped this set for 40 bucks. Next is this longer bird ear, huh? Next up is this medium sized key basket by Longerberger. I only picked this up because it was only a dollar at a yard sale. Longerberger is just, oh, I have such a hard time getting rid of it. So, um, unless it's really, really tiny, I don't think I'm going to pick it up anymore. And in fact, last week at a yard sale, I picked up a Longerberger tissue box and I ended up just keeping it for myself because it was only going to resell for like 20 bucks and I think I paid $7.50 for it. So, um, anyway, this is the medium sized key basket that hangs on the wall. It came with the liner intact it did not have the fabric liner but it did have the plastic liner in it and so i again i only paid a dollar for it and it sold for eight dollars another book that i picked up this was at a yard sale just a couple of months ago and this is one of those manga books which is something that i'm really not terribly familiar with but they are absolutely a bolo. Um, anything with anime is hot, so definitely pick them up. This one was not one of the best ones. Um, I paid only 50 cents for this book. It is D. Gray Man. Mm, I saw the word ma mango, so I threw it in the old Ikea bag. Um, paid 50 cents for it, and it sold for $4.50. Now, Karen, a couple of what sold videos ago, had picked up some fruit basket manga books, and she got those for free at a yard sale, and they sold like overnight for $75. So that's what I mean. Definitely, definitely worth doing a quick comp search. All right. I grabbed these Hanes um, new old stock plus size 4X um, pantyhose. And so this was a lot of two pairs. I grabbed these back in March or April at um, a yard sale and I only paid 50 cents for each pack. So I'm all in a um, dollar for the two of these and the two of them um, together sold for $5. I've had a lot of luck getting rid of plus size new old stock pantyhose. However, having said that, these have hung around a while. So this is an item that I will definitely continue to pick up in the future if the price is right. And by that, I mean less than a dollar. Okay, I grabbed this holiday time lion and lamb 
Um, cross stitching kit. I like to pick up cross stitching kits that are sealed and in the package. This one in particular, I paid 50 cents for at an estate sale about a month ago and it sold for $7. I grabbed this Life is Good long sleeved gray woman's size medium um, t shirt, long sleeve t shirt, and it has this cute little snow angel emblem on the front. Life is Good stuff usually sells for me. Um, I'm usually not stuck with it for too terribly long, but it's also not going to sell for big money. It's, it is definitely more of a bread and butter type of item. So um, I paid only a dollar for this at a yard sale and it sold for $8.50, but it's only been listed a couple of weeks. We grabbed this Z Supply Burnout long sleeved size large t-shirt at Goodwill. We paid, no, I'm sorry. We grabbed it at an estate sale for only $3 and it sold for $15. Okay, y'all remember that at that churchyard sale that I went to about a month ago, I got all that goody stuff. Literally everything, all of that new old stock goody stuff has sold with the exception of one pair of barrettes. Everything else has sold. I couldn't have paid more than 75 cents an item and it all sold really fast and for really good money. So bolo, bolo, bolo. If you ever find it, grab it. Um, my biggest regret is that I didn't buy it all, foolishly. I thought that some of the, um, not wire brush, what are they, like bristly brushes, um, weren't going to sell. I did a quick comp search. It, it was kind of like, eh, some of them sold, some of them didn't. There seemed to be a lot listed, so I left those behind, and I'm kicking myself. I should have just grabbed them all because they probably would have eventually sold. All right, so I actually sold in this What Sold video, I have got three of the picks and all three of them sold within 24 hours of each other. So the first two, um, this one is a green um, pick. Again, it's new old stock, goody. It's from um, 1989, 1990, right around there, 75 cents. And this one, I accepted an offer of $13.00. And I'm really kind of sorry that I did because I had it listed for 18 and boom, boom, the other two sold right after that. So this next one is the pink version of it. Again, 75 cents at that yard sale. This one sold for $15. This vintage cuddle knit Aztec a poncho I picked up based upon style just a few weeks ago at a yard sale. I paid $2 for it. It is in a size, oh, it's like in a one size fits all, but it's super, super oversized. And this was at the yard sale where I picked up all of that Lane Bryant. So there were a lot of plus sizes. So this was a definitely a larger size poncho. And um, again, I only paid $2 for it and it sold for $34, which was my full asking price. I grabbed this J. Jill Linen um, short sleeve cardigan. It was really cute. It had these pockets in it. Um, it was not new with tags, but it was in a size large. We paid $5.99 for it at Goodwill and it sold for $20. Now this has been listed a hot minute. I definitely listed it in the new year, but like right after the new year started. I wanna say I listed it around January or February. And so it sat around all this time. Okay, here is the last of the goodie picks. This one is the black version of it, and this one went for full asking price of $18, so hip, hip, hooray. I, um, I don't know if you remember, but when I had picked up this huge lot from Facebook Marketplace of all of these calico critter things, and one of the items was the house, and then when we got it home and I looked at it a little bit closer, I realized that the house was kind of janky. It was in, like... The um, hinge part of it was kind of broken, so it was separating a little bit. And I had it listed with some furniture and some animals for $75, and it just wasn't getting any attention. And so I decided to just scrap it, especially since it was semi-broken, and I stripped it. I took out the lights, I took out the furniture, I took out the rabbits, I took out the floors and the railings. And then I took the house and I just donated the house, stripped bare as it was. And so this is two of the ceiling lights that were in that house. They are in total working order. Um, and so I figure I'm about a dollar into them based upon all the other items. Because besides the house and the furniture, 
and the rabbits. I had a lot of other animal families as well as a lot of other furnishings. So all in all, I probably had about eight to 10 lots of stuff from this one purchase of $30 um, back several months ago. So I figure I'm about a dollar in for these lights and they sold for $12. I grabbed these Pottery Barn Kids ornaments. This is a pack of four ornaments, and I picked these up at a yard sale a couple of weeks ago for only $2. They sold very quickly within a week of having listed them for $12. And the last item that sold on eBay during this period was this um, J. Jill Wherever um, three quarter sleeve navy tunic slash dress really really pretty in a size large and it had some nice detailing not really so much lace but almost like crocheted detailing that was inlaid um, right at the sleeves very very pretty we got this at a yard sale for three dollars and it sold for fifteen dollars all right moving on to poshmark i had one item that sold during this period on poshmark I mean, I closed my Poshmark store, but let me tell you something. Since I reopened it, I've only sold two items, so Poshmark has really been slow for me. I don't know if it's because I shut it down for Thanksgiving. I don't know if that had anything to do with it. I don't know. I've been listing what I consider to be really good things, and I've done a lot of listing over the last several weeks, and it just doesn't seem to be moving. But then finally this week, I sold two pairs of shoes, so we'll see. Maybe it's coming back. But I sold this um, girl's extra large cheetah like kind of like a um fluorescent color cheetah print nightgown it was new with tags i grabbed this at that yard sale in the very beginning of yard selling season where i got tons and tons of clothes for like next to nothing so maybe i spent 50 cents on this absolute tops 50 cents at that yard sale and this sold for 11 dollars okay i sold two items on makari the first was this PlayStation 3 Most Wanted game. Um, yeah, I'm tapping out of the video game industry because I'm just not good at it. I don't know which ones are good games, which ones aren't. I know all I have to do is scan it through the eBay app to get a quick barometer. But when I get to a sale and I see them and they're only a dollar and there's stacks of them, I, don't, I really just don't feel like doing it. So I think I'm just done because I keep on picking lemons. So this was a lemon. Um, I actually got three different PlayStation 3 video games. They were $2 a piece, so for six bucks. Um, somebody messaged me on Macari and said, hey, would you sell me just the most wanted? So I said, sure. I had all three of them listed for $14. So um, he took this one for eight. So I figured it well, at least I got my money back. Um, so I am $2 into that and it sold for $8. But P.S. in the next What's Hold video, because in the beginning of December, he messaged me back again and he said, hey, how about that Call of Duty Ghosts game? Would you sell that to me? I said, sure, you can have that for six. He's like, okay. So he took, so I ended up getting my $14. So um, not the best of sales and they really are easy to list and they don't take up a lot of storage, but I just pick up more lemons than I do more home runs. So I think, I think I'm tapping out. I think I'm done with video games. Let me know in the comments if you've had any luck selling video games. I know that there are resellers that do nothing but video games. Um, that's just not going to be my niche. I don't think so. All right, and the last thing that I sold on Macari during this period was this Crocodile Hunter vintage game from 1999. It is based upon Steve Irwin's um, TV show. And I grabbed this at a yard sale in the very beginning of yard selling. This was like the first one that I went to at the end of February. And um, the person who was having the yard sale, and no, it was actually an estate sale but it looked like a yard sale. It was one of those estate sales and they had left everything out overnight and it had rained. And so this was under something, so it wasn't totally demolished, but it was definitely damp. I had to let everything dry out and then test it, but it ended up being okay. I paid only a dollar for it and I sold it for $20. Okay, on Facebook Marketplace, I have had two sales during this period. The first was this American Girl doll set. It is brand new um, leotard with matching slippers. It's called the Murdaw or Murta or something. I don't know. But we picked this up at a yard sale for only $2 and it sold on Facebook Marketplace for $20. 
Facebook Marketplace is hard for me because there's no recourse. If anything goes wrong, there's nobody that you can call, no customer service, but even more to the point for me anyway, it's hard for me to track. I have to be paying attention to my bank account to make sure that I have gotten paid on these items. And sometimes it's just not worth it. But then again, there are things that are selling on Facebook Marketplace that I'm not selling anywhere else. Perfect example, the American Girl doll stuff. That stuff seems to be moving on Facebook Marketplace, whereas it's kind of dead, at least for me, on eBay. Um, and then the last thing that I sold on um, Facebook Marketplace during this period was this RCA Vintage VCR and, um, and Remote Control combo. I grabbed this at an estate sale several months ago for $3. I did it because watching Kayla on um, Homeschooling Picker, she picks up VCRs all the time. So I wanted to give it a shot and it was dead. I mean, no interest whatsoever. And then in the same week, I had somebody on Facebook Marketplace say, oh, I'm going to come pick it up on Sunday. And they were going to pay full price. They never showed. And so then a day later, I got an offer of $40 took that offer and sent it out. So happy to get rid of that. I don't know if I'll do that again. The VCRs are a lot of work for me to have to test them and go through all of that rigmarole and then shipping them is really kind of a pain in the butt, uh, to be honest with you. There's a lot of wrapping supplies and you know cushioning it and all the things and then the stress of is it going to get there in one piece and not be broken um plus they're expensive to ship and so sometimes i think that's a deterrent for the buyer i don't know um i would probably probably try it again if i could get it for less than five dollars and see but i don't think that's ever going to be kind of my thing and so i sold only one item on etsy Etsy during this period, and it was this lot of 14 Disney books. If you remember, I grabbed these um, about a month and a half ago at a yard sale, and I paid only $8 for the whole lot, and I lotted them up into four or five different lots. This is the third lot that I've sold. I have more than made my money back. So see what I mean? Books, particularly book series, absolutely, absolutely 100% worth running the comps. Um, because you can make some decent money. And so they're also really easy to photograph. I mean, you just take front, back, done. Then I scan through, I look, make sure there's no marks in them, no writing, no torn pages, all the things. And, and then boom, they're listed. And particularly on Etsy, I've been getting a lot of attention for these Disney books. This I paid I figure maybe I'm $5 into it since I paid $8 for the whole lot. And honestly, I think I'm probably only about $3 into it, but we'll use five to be conservative. And this lot sold for $44. All right, guys. All so right. four totals. Um, during the period of November 18th through the 30th, I sold a total of 22 items in spite of my store having been closed for eight of those days for which I paid only $43.74, making my average cost of goods $1.99, which is low for us. Usually we're right around the $3 mark, somewhere around there. I sold all 22 items for a total of $388. And so if I estimate fees um, of 13%, that is $50.44 for a total profit for that period of $293.82. Really, really happy with those considering I was shut down for all that time. All right, guys, that is everything. As always, if you like this thrifting content, if you like this type of stuff, please, please, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and let us know that you like this kind of content. All right, guys, have a great week. And remember, it's not cheap, it's thrifty. Bye, guys.